हेलो फ्रेंड टुडे विल डिस्कस द एनमोस फैब्रिकेशन एनमोस ट्रांजिस्टर फैब्रिकेशन सो एन क्वेश्चन इट मे बी आस एट द गिव्स एनमोस फैब्रिकेशन प्रोसेस फ्लो विद द हेल्प ऑफ नीट स्केसेस ऑफ एप्रोप्रिएट मास एंड क्रॉस सेक्शन एट इच प्रोसेस स्टेप इट मे बी आस इन टेन मार्क्स so these are the following steps for fabrication of the nmos transistor the first step is the the process starts with the silicon semiconductor substrate so first of all we take the silicon substrate this is this is the silicon substrate so first of all we take the silicon substrate then on which there is relatively thick silicon dioxide layer also called the field oxide layer is grown by the thermal oxidation by the thermal oxidation we create field oxide on the silicon substrate so this is the silicon dioxide layer is created on the silicon substrate so this is the silicon dioxide layer this is the silicon dioxide layer is created on the silicon substrate by the thermal oxidation process next then silicon dioxide is the field oxide is selectively this field oxide is selectively etched using the photolithographic process we know the photolithographic process so photolith photolithography by using the photolithographic process selectively field oxide is etched that exposes silicon substrate where the mos transistor will created means we etch this portion of the silicon dioxide where the mos transistor will be created the field oxide is used to isolate the individual transistor so field oxide acts as a, this field oxide acts as a insulator which isolate the individual transistor n type uh, different types of transistor n mos p mos the thin layer of silicon dioxide is grown on the entire surface of the wafer this is called the thin oxide after that we create again silicon oxide layer so we created this thin layer this thin layer oxide layer this thin layer is created then polysilicon is then deposited on the top of the thin oxide layer so this is the thin oxide layer on which polysilicon layer is deposited this is the polysilicon layer name indicates polysilicon layer is deposited on the thin oxide layer this is a thin oxide layer on which polysilicon is deposited polysilicon is used both as a gate electrode material for mos transistor and also as in the interconnect medium in the silicon integrated circuit so it is used as a both gate electrode material and the for interconnecting undocked polysilicon has relatively high resistivity the resistivity of the polysilicon can be reduced by using it by doping it with impurity the doping may be trivalent impurity or pentavalent impurity so after deposition the polysilicon layer is patterned and etched to form the interconnect and mos transistor gear so after that polysilicon is etched this polysilicon is etched and this is for the mos transistor gates and this is for the mos transistor gate and this polysilicon is etched the thin oxide the thin oxide not covered by the polysilicon this thin oxide this thin oxide up to this up to this and from there to this not covered by the polysilicon polysilicon is is 
away which exposes the bare silicon surface on which source and drain junction are to be formed so this this is the each or it is silicon dioxide is each where the drain and source is formed means their drain and source is formed so the entire silicon surface is then dot with the, the highly concentrated of impurity either through diffusion or the ion implantation so by using the diffusion or ion implantation we dot silicon so by using the pentavalent impurity we dot n plus and for by using the trivalent impurity we dot p plus so again the doping also penetrates the exposed area on the silicon surface ultimately creating two n type region in the p type substrate so by doping we created two n type region this is this and one is this and second is this in the p type substrate the polysilicon gate means this is the polysilicon gate this is the polysilicon gate the polysilicon gate which is patterned before the doping actually defines the precise location of the channel region and hence the location of the source and the drain regions since this procedure allows very precise positioning of two regions relative to the gate it is also called the self aligned process once the source and drain region are completed the entire surface is again covered with the an insulating layer of the silicon dioxide so if the drain and source region are created then entire surface is again covered by the insulating oxide layer so again covered by the insulating oxide layer the insulating oxide layer is then patterned in order to provide the contact window for the drain and source junction so again oxide layer is patterned to form the connect connection between the drain and the source so here this is pattern so let insulating oxide layer is pattern to provide the contact window for the drain and source this is the contact window for the drain and this is the contact window for the source the surface is covered with then surface is covered with the evaporated aluminum which will form the interconnect then again surface is covered with the evaporated aluminum this is the evaporated aluminum to form the contact finally the metal layer is patterned and each so finally the metal layer is patterned and each so this is the contact for the either drain or source and this is the contact for the either source or drain so these are the steps to the uh, in the fabric so no the nmos transistor so you have to write all these steps you have to draw the neat diagram for the 10 marks thank you